Hello, this is John Sterrett, and today we're going to go over a free tool that you can download and use today to help you with generating a workload for doing performance testing. Now this tool is known as SQL Query Stress. It's created by Adam Mahanick, and one of my favorite things about this tool is that not only can you use it to stress test your objects, but you can also create a random data set that will be used as parameters throughout your testing. So let's take a look at SQL Query Stress. So the first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to go over to this URL, which I will add to the notes for this video, to go ahead and download and install the SQL Query Stress utility. So once it's installed, you can run it from the Start menu. Now I already have a copy open. So we'll go ahead and we'll go to the SQL Query Stress tool. And one of the things I love about this tool is that you can save and load configurations. So once you have your test ready to go, you can easily just load it by going to File, Load Settings, and it'll load all your configurations as we have on the screen. So for this test, we're going to stress test the Generate Customer Store Procedure. And the first thing you want to do is click on Database. So that way you can set up the database that you're going to do your stress test against. So in this case, I'm doing the stress test against the R2 instance on the local host here, and I'm using the integrated authentication. And the database we're going to stress test is Loyalty Program Server. So I mentioned during the notes that you can pass in parameter substitution. So when you click here, you can actually pass a T-SQL statement that could be used to randomly load parameters into your stored procedure. So in this case, I got first name, last name, phone number. So the first thing you want to do is click on Get Columns, which will load your parameters and allow you to match them. So here we're going to have a number of customers, phone number. And as you're doing this, you can see it's, it's matching up the data types for you. So address, first name, and last name. So once that's done, the next thing you want to look at is how many times do you want this to run and how much concurrent stress do you want loaded at the same time. So this is where a number of threads come in. So for this run, I'm going to say that I want 10 threads, so 10 SPIDs created at the same time. And I'm going to want to make sure that each thread runs five total iterations. So when we kick this off, we'll have a total of 50 runs because we'll have five iterations for each thread. So right before we kick this off, I'm going to load a profiler with the trace that I have that's going to go ahead and capture the data just to show you that every time it's running, it's randomly picking parameters that it'll be using to execute into the stored procedure. Now keep in mind this is for a demo, this is not production. I wouldn't recommend loading SQL Server Profiler on your production box. You normally would want to use extended events or server-side trace. But keep in mind this is just for the demo. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to kick it off. And then I'm going to go over here. I'm going to click on Go. So, And while this is running, you can see how many times it's going through. What's the average CPU cost? What's the average time it's taking for it to run? And how many reads is it having on an average per iteration? So as you can see here now that we went through and we ran our 50 executions. And now if we go through here and look at our filter trace, as you scroll through you can see that you have random parameters that you're not seeing the same things being passed in all the time. I hope you enjoyed this quick demo on SQL Query Stress. If you would like to see more tools that you can use to help you with your performance tuning process, please check out my website link at http://johnsterrett.com/go/performance.